We are in the fourth uh, week of Easter, and this is a wonderful time in our liturgies and with our scripture readings, especially uh, the Gospel of St. John, where we get to extend our reflection on the resurrection of our Lord Jesus and what that means for us in terms of our baptism into his resurrection, into his death and his resurrection, all the way uh, until Pentecost. One of the things that we were noticing here at St. Francis Xavier is this year, more than the past couple of years, we've had uh, a few more deaths and burials and funeral services and memorial services, both here at the parish and also up at St. Ignatius Mission, 45 miles up the road. And while it is always uh, unfortunate and sad and, uh, and difficult to lose a loved one. Uh, they're from uh, the, the clergy's point of view, the, the Easter season gives us more ammunition for reflection on what it means to pass from this life to the next, especially when we are meditating on the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. I'd like to share a, a brief passage from the prophet Isaiah that we often use uh, at the time of a memorial service or a funeral service, not just at Easter time, but all through the year. This is a familiar passage from chapter 55. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return without watering the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and prosper in the thing for which I sent it. It's a beautiful little passage. We Christians believe that the prophet Isaiah is forecasting the coming of our Lord Jesus into the world. The word made flesh, spoken by God the Father. And that it depicts not only the birth of our Lord Jesus, but his journey physically through the world, his passion, death, and resurrection, and then his return to the Father but not without first accomplishing the mission, God's will, that he came into this world to accomplish. And the imagery that the prophet uses would have been very familiar to the agrarian people that he was speaking with, and is very familiar to us here in Montana with our mountains and our valleys and our rivers. He uses the rain and the snow as a beautiful image that come down from heaven they nourish the earth, they form little tricklets, they form creeks and streams and rivers, they go out to the ocean eventually, through the big Columbia River here for us, and through the process of evaporation they go back up into the heavens. But this journey of the water uh, through the earth, down through the rivers and up into the heavens again, doesn't take place without first nourishing the earth bringing seed to the sower and bread to the eater. It's a beautiful imagery for the life of Jesus, for the life of our dearly departed, those who have just gone before us. It's a time to pause with this imagery and see that each person is a word spoken by God that comes into this world, lives his or her life, brings nourishment, to the human family that can only come from that person. No matter what kind of obstacles they have in their life, no matter what kind of limitations they have to deal with, God wants to use each one of them, each one of us, to get grace and goodness into the world. So we use that to reflect on the passing of a loved one. We should also use that to reflect on our own journey, not just at Easter time and not when we're feeling like it's time uh, to uh, call an end to things, but every day to realize that we're on this same journey, like the 
rain and the snow that come down from heaven and eventually we return to heaven, but not without first accomplishing that what God, for what God sent us. And that's good news. And it should give us um, some affirmation about our faith and especially about our participation in the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus, not just during Easter time, but all time.